look at uh, TextPad Explorer now. Um, so here it is. Open that up. Whoops. Open it up. And we are now viewing uh, in a tree the, all the directories uh, on the external so storage device on this, on this mobile. So one of the directories is download and it, by selecting it, it opens up all the files within that subdirectory. Um, and we can choose any file, like that one, and we, there are a number of operations that we can perform on those. We can edit the files, view them, uh, modify them, um, delete or rename or copy them, um, or even send them, and we'll do a, a couple of those uh, now. So first of all, I'm going to try and view the file. If I go in and view it, we're now looking at a, a read-only copy of that file, and you're free to browse through that as you see fit, and then just close it when you're finished. Um, or we could have selected the file, and this time we could send a, a copy of it to one of these devices like Bluetooth or in this case I'm going to email it to, to myself and here it is as an attachment in this email I'm now going to send it from this mail address and fire it off and that will now work its way into my mailbox um, which I can then look at at my leisure um, in addition to that, we've got the ability to look through any of the files, not just the ones on the external directory, but any of the files on this mobile device. So by changing root, we can specify where we want to, to look. Now, very few other products allow you to do this. So we're now going to look into the system etc. directory. And we can now view files in that. Um, and here's a file and it's allowing me to view the contents of that file because we're looking at the operating system when you're not going to be able to edit the files or change them but you're allowed to look at them so that, that, that can be a useful one right. and there are a number of other features um, as I mentioned before, the deleting, renaming, copying of any of these files, um, and we're going to now call it a day and end this demo. So we just exit and we're back out.